today we're exploring Tokyo's quirkiest cafe. And you're watching the Fantastic Four. So today we're going to go visit some of Tokyo's unique cafes. Um, the first one we're going to is called Alice in the Magical Land. It's Alice in Wonderland themed, but they probably couldn't use the name, so they called it Alice in a Magical Land. Um, and so that's the first one. Then we're going to take a train from there over to Shibuya and try something called the Kawaii Monster Cafe. And Kawaii means cute in the Japanese language, and it's very... It's like a part of Japanese culture that's very cutesy. It's like anime and manga, like that sort of Japanese culture. So we're gonna go try out that second. And we're off to the Alice C Cafe now. So let's go check it out. So we just left Alice in Wonderland. Um, Alice, actually, it's called Alice in a Magical Land restaurant. And what was your impression? Um, it was interesting for sure. Um, they played a lot of Disney music. The whole, I, I felt like it was something you kind of might see at Disney. Like the whole room was themed. Um, Alice in Wonderland, there was like a card standing up. I'm um, like one of the card soldiers, you know. Um, all the chairs were like in fun colors and different. There were Alice in Wonderland murals. Um, what else? Um, How about the waitresses and hosts? Oh yeah, all the waitresses were dressed up. Um, there were two Alices. There was the Cheshire Cat, the White Rabbit, and Queen of Hearts. the Queen of Hearts. Yeah, I think that was all. They were dressed up as really cutesy version of, versions of the characters, which was kind of fun. Um, it wasn't too fun because Autumn and Eden did not get a picture with them, <laughs> but Mom the and Dad did. So I don't know what the deal with that was, but it seemed like the adults were a little more excited about Alice's restaurant than uh, the kiddos. But all in all, it was good. It, yeah, was, it, was, it cool. was good to see. And so where are we going now? Now we are headed to something called the Monster Cafe, which is like a kawaii style uh, cafe I guess and the food there is supposed to be like really bad like apparently people have left in the middle of their meal to go eat somewhere else but the dessert is supposed to be decent so and we're the decor and the decor so we're going there for the dessert and the decor just experienced the Monster Cafe, actually the Kauai Monster Cafe, and what did you think of that one? Um, it was very interesting. Um, you go in there and it's a lot of noise and colors and sensory overload all at once. Um, there's four different sections you can be seated in, and I don't remember the names of the sections, but there's one where there's like, you can sit in like teacups. Um, the one we sat in, um, we sat in like under big mushrooms. Um, there's a section where there's like baby bottles up ahead, yeah. like with milk, fake milk dripping down. Um, and then there's a sec another section where it's like all lips and um, like red, yeah. like valentiny almost. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a lot. <laughs> yeah, and then like out of nowhere, like stuff goes crazy and lights go crazy and alarms go off and they have this mini carousel type thing that starts spinning and the four kawaii monsters get on and start singing a song. We, 
we really didn't know what was going on half the time. We just knew it was fun and we were just sort of enjoying ourselves the whole time because it, it just sort of had your head spinning at times with things going on and things to look at. It was definitely, as, as Autumn said, sensory overload, definitely. Um, we ordered, you have oh, to yeah. order a food and drink per person and the food is really expensive and we got a hamburger and the hamburger was not the best. It was really super salty. Yeah. Um, I don't think we even finished it. Um, and then we also got the desserts, which were a little bit better, um, but way overpriced. We got like this parfait thing that had like frosting on the edges and it had a little piece of cake in there. And um, so the desserts were okay, but don't go there for the food. Yes, the, go there for the desserts and the drinks um, were fun too. The they had some were, really fun, yeah. fun drinks. Um, it's very family friendly. So, uh, you know, go there because of that, which brings up, you know, there are a bunch of other cafes that we really wanted to go to. There are made cafes, which is what Tokyo is renowned for is their made cafes. And we were talking about going and we just sort of ran out of time. We sort of prioritized in the Monster Cafe um, sort of one over the maid cafes, but the maid cafes are, are something to see here. And the big one that we see a lot of billboards for and advertisers for is the Robot Cafe. And we probably would have gone to that because it looks like even crazier than what we experienced today. But the Robot ca Cafe probably is not uh, nearly as family friendly as the Kauai Monster Cafe. Um, so we opted out of that, but um, it's something to see. It's certainly the cafes here are crazy. We just spent the last half hour in a cat cafe and I wasn't too sure if I would like it, but it ended up being a great time and I know Eden liked it. So why don't you tell people what the cat cafe was like inside? Well, there's these two rooms. One was Kind of like a backyard in a castle because there was like a well place where you could sit down and see the cats eat at the end we did and see the cats play with other people and stuff and then there was this other little part like tiny part where there was a fig tree and some grass not real grass though it was really cool and then the other room with lots of cats they kept moving back and forth we had to go back and forth and then it was just really crazy and yeah. fun. It was a lot of fun. And they did have two beautiful rooms, uh, like she said, one with the tree and then one was just really pretty and had places for them, the cats to climb up and hide. Oh, yeah. And they had bookshelves that they were finding nooks in. And um, it was really nice. And it was a cat cafe that specifically allowed kids, which was nice because there are other kids there. And so, but everyone, uh, treated the cats great and yeah, I think I was surprised. I enjoyed it. I might be a cat cafe fan So we just got out of the owl cafe and it was amazing I didn't really know what to expect but it was really small and it was really intimate and they really let us they let us pet all of the owls and we could hold almost all of the owls and it was just it was really, really cool. I'm so glad we did it. Um, so when you go in, there's like a room that they keep you in for maybe 10 minutes and you oh. get um, one free drink. And then after 10 minutes or whatever, they let you into the owl room, which is also very small for, I think it was 35 minutes. Um, and you get to pet and you can also feed the owls, which is something we didn't do, but it's not something you really need to do because you get to interact with the owls a lot without feeding them anyways. Um, and that cost extra, so it really wasn't worth it. Um, but yeah, it was overall a really good experience. Um, they were, the owls were so soft, and we got to hold a lot of them. They were big ones, little ones. Um, yeah, it was really cool. And I know some people, um, like animal rights people, might be concerned because the owls, you know, they're nocturnal animals, and it was during the day when we were seeing them. But I'll tell you, everyone there was so gentle and so kind with the owls and really respectful of them. So we just felt like it was a really good environment and really good space for what we saw. So it was really, really cool. Um, yeah, so that was our last quirky cafe in Japan. Um, we didn't get to see them all because there are so many. I know there's, I think, a lizard one, there's a snake cafe. Um, an otter cafe, hedgehog cafe, and those are just 
only that's like just scraping the surface. There are so many more. Um, the ones we did get to visit while we were here are super cool. Um, we went to a Hollow Kitty one in Hemeji also. Um, that was pretty interesting. <laughs> Yeah, um, just, that's a, we'll just leave it there. We'll just leave it, it there. Just it was interesting. interesting. Um, but yeah, that's been our quirky cafe experience. So if you have ever been to a quirky cafe, let us know in the comments. And as always, if you um, could give us a thumbs up, we'd really love that. And if you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you subscribe because we have a whole lot more videos coming your way. Thanks for watching. Bye.